ourselves in prayer, every time we humble ourselves in prayer, uh, God responds to us. How many of y'all know he still speaks? Amen. Amen. We welcome all of you in our virtual campus as well. Let's clap our hands and thank God for them. Amen. Hallelujah. We glory to God for that. And so uh, tonight, as we would start out, of course, this is our Wednesday night. This is first Wednesday of the month of February. Uh, and we just pause and thank God that he's got us through January. Amen. And now we are at the second month of this year, and we start every week. We start every first week of the month uh, with corporate prayer, and it does my heart well to have many of you who are joining us in the live campus, those of you who are in the virtual campus as well, uh, as we start uh, this time in prayer, because prayer is priority. Amen. Say that prayer is priority. Yes, it is. Prayer is priority. Listen, on last month, uh, the Lord was very diligent in leading our steps to Psalm 23. And we have made this declaration, and I hope that you're still making it, amen, in your life as well, uh, that God is returning us to the shepherd's care, that God is putting us back in a place of rest. That's all of that means. Put us back in a place where God is watching over and leading uh, our lives. And I want to remind you of that before we get started, that God is putting you in the shepherd's care. Amen. Glory to God. He has you under the shepherd's eyesight, the shepherd's leadership. Amen. Your steps are being ordained by the shepherd. Amen. So we're going to pray out uh, from that uh, motivational thrust on tonight, but then we're also uh, going to go over, this was my time of devotion, over to Psalm 24. And there's one verse uh, in Psalm 24 that I have not been able to shake over the last several days in my time of devotion. Psalm 24, amen, if y'all could put it up on the screen. Psalm 24 uh, says this, this is the generation of those who seek him. How many of you came seeking the Lord tonight? Amen. If you're in virtual church, put, put a hand up in the uh, comments. Amen. This is the generation of those who seek him, who inquire of and inquire for him, and of necessity, amen, require him. How many of you need God? Amen. It's not a luxury. This is not a luxury. This is a necessity in my life. We used to say in the old church, it's in him that we live. It's in him that we move, and it's in him that we have our very, very being. Say hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Look, it says, this is the generation who seek your face, O God, O God of Jacob, Selah which means to pause and to think and to meditate upon. And so tonight we are believing God that as we seek him tonight in this month of February, as we come at the very outset of uh, this brand new month that God has given unto us, that we're going to hear from God. Say, I want to hear you, God. Amen. Come on, say that again. I want to hear you, God. Amen. I got to get you to use your mouth tonight. I got to get you to use your words, your language tonight, your prayer language tonight. I want you to just sit there and rock. I want you to begin to let the Spirit of God use you to begin to speak words out of your mouth. Glory be to God. Amen. Because the Bible says that the earth were formed by the words that came out of God's mouth. I believe you possess that same type of God kind of faith that you speak those things which are not, and they become. Amen. The book of Job says that we can declare a thing, and it shall come to pass. You still haven't opened your mouth. So when we begin to say things out of our mouth, say amen, hallelujah, that we begin to now have a creative force that flows out of our mouth, amen. So we're not just singing songs, and we're not just aimlessly and ambiguously praying prayers. No, we are speaking into our future. We are speaking into our February. We are speaking into our tomorrow because we understand that life and death now you're starting to use your mouth. It's in the power of the tongue. Amen. So we start off with praise. Come on, let me get everybody now to begin to embrace a posture of prayer as we would now ascend into this time of prayer. Amen. We glorify your name, oh God. We magnify you. Amen. You have liberty tonight. If you want to walk around, you can do that. Just tell your neighbor, excuse me, I can't be boxed in. Amen. I have to walk. I have to kneel. I have to begin to lift up my voice. So, so right now, I want you to begin to come on 
going to give God your adoration. Amen. Give him your adoration. Hallelujah. We adore you, God. Amen. We lift you up tonight, God. We declare at the very beginning of the month that you are high and you are lifted up in the month of February, Lord God. We thank you that you reign on the throne. And from the outset of this month, thank you, Holy Spirit, from the outset of this month, we declare that your name is worthy to be praised. We declare right now that your, 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 your holiness, hallelujah, is ours tonight. We declare right now that you are God of righteousness. Yes, you are righteous in all of your ways, hallelujah. We thank you that you are God that does not and cannot make a mistake, hallelujah, but you are God that's always on time. You are always precise. You are always, hallelujah, correct in your movements, in your actions, in your response. And we give you praise tonight. Come on, open up your mouth tonight. We thank you tonight, Lord God. Yes, that before we ask you for anything, we take a posture, hallelujah, of a praiser, Lord God. We join in with angels that are situated around your throne, Lord God. The ones that are crying, holy is the Lord of hosts, the ones that are lauding you, hallelujah, with praises, that are extolling your name tonight, Lord God. Lord, we even shake off whatever it is that will come and weigh our praise down tonight. We thank you tonight that no spirit of heaviness, Lord God, no spirit of stagnation, Lord God, is going to begin to weigh our praise down tonight, Lord God, because we came in in a posture of prayer to let you know you are worthy tonight. Amen. Can we echo that in the house and tell the Lord you're worthy, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy of my praise tonight. You're worthy of me opening up my mouth tonight, Lord God. You're worthy of my time tonight, Lord God. You're worthy of my bow tonight, Lord God. We bow before you right now. Heaven and earth adore you. And we also bow at the name of our Lord. We glorify you and we magnify you right now, Lord God. We lift you up right now, Lord God. We say there is no God like our God. Come on, get bold with your declaration. There is no God like my God. Hallelujah. There is no God like my God. He is a healing God. He is a God of wisdom. He is a God of precision. Precision. He is a God of strategy. He is a God of victorious battle. We glorify you right now, Lord. Lord God. And as we enter into your gates, we come into the gates in the presence of our God with thanksgiving tonight. Hallelujah. That on this first day of February, we want you to know, Lord God, that we are grateful, that we are thankful, that our hearts are appreciative to everything that you have done and everything that you continue to do and how it is, Lord God, that there are some things we were not even aware of, but you kept on working out for us, Lord God. So we want to thank you tonight. Somebody thank him tonight. <laughs> Come on, somebody thank him tonight. Somebody thank him tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, begin to clap your hands tonight and thank the Lord. Those of you that's in virtual campus, come on, won't you give him a thanksgiving praise right there? If there's anything that you're grateful for, if there's anything that your mind can go back and wonder about, if there's anything that you can say, God, you brought me over. God, you saw me through. God, you opened the door. God, you made the way. God, you kept the enemy at bay. God, you wouldn't let the devil have his way. And I give you glory tonight for it. And I bless you tonight for it. In the month of February, I give you the first fruits of this month, Lord God. You get the fruit of my lip today, Lord God. You get the thanksgiving that flows out of my heart this morning, this afternoon, God. We glorify you tonight, Lord God. We magnify you tonight, Lord God. It's our pleasure, Lord God, to praise your name, Lord God. It's our pleasure, oh God, to lift you up, oh God. It's our pleasure right now, God, yes, to magnify you, Lord God. We say let God arise and let all of our enemies be scattered tonight Lord God we thank you tonight that you are scattering enemies Lord God that as we press into your presence as we walk through your gates and enter into your holy throne room we thank you that you are scattering enemies tonight hallelujah clap your hands all over because your enemies are being scattered come on thank you for scattering your enemies right now 
Open up your mouth and declare it. My enemies are being scattered. Amen. They will not be joined together. They will not be united against me. They will not be in solidarity, but my enemies are being scattered, Lord God. They may come at me one way, but your word declares that they shall flee four, five, six, seven different ways, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord God, that no weapon that was formed against us was able to prosper, Lord God. We give you glory for that tonight. We are humble enough to acknowledge your hand in the role. Hallelujah. Acknowledge your hand in last month. Acknowledge your hand in last, hallelujah, week. We glorify you tonight because our enemies are scattered. Hallelujah. We glorify you for that tonight. Some of you ought to thank God that your enemies are scattered. Thank you, God. Enemies of heaviness. Thank you, God. Enemies of depression. Hallelujah. Enemies that would come in and cause us to be snared. Enemies that would come like the fowler's trap to contract, to trap us, Lord God, to cause us to be caught up. We thank you that our enemies are scattered tonight. We thank you that every enemy that came against our mind, it would, they are scattered in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that tried to attack our house, our enemies are scattered tonight. Every enemy that came against this local church, the enemies are scattered tonight. We thank you that we have a God that scatters enemies, that shreds them apart, that sifts them as wheat, Lord God. We thank you that our enemies are scattered, hallelujah, that when the enemy tried to get busy in our finances, our enemies have been scattered, Lord God. When the enemy tried to get busy in our bodies, in our physical health, the enemies are scattered right now. And we thank you tonight that we are strong. We thank you tonight, Lord God, that we are fortified. We thank you that because of you tonight, Lord God, our heads are lifted up on tonight, and we glorify you tonight, Lord God. We thank you tonight, yes, just as the psalmist says, and we declare tonight that our cup runs over tonight. Come on, make that declaration. My cup runneth over. Hallelujah. My cup runneth over. Hallelujah. I am not empty. I am not dry. I am not parched, but the joy of the Lord over overflows in my life. The peace of the Lord overflows in my life. My sanity overflows in my life. I thank you, Lord God, and I bless you. Hallelujah. That I am overflowing. My cup running over, oh God. We glorify you for that tonight. We thank you for that tonight. We thank you that tonight in you, Lord God, we cannot be stopped. In you, Lord God, we are victorious, Lord God. So we say tonight that as we praise you and as we worship you tonight, Lord God. We want your presence to fill this room tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, let's inquire of him now. Thank you for your presence filling this room now. Thank you for your presence resting upon our hearts, Lord God. Thank you for your presence being tangible tonight, Lord God. That as we are in your presence, God, everything that is not like you has to be consumed, Lord God. You have the consuming fire. You have a consuming presence, Lord God. And so I thank Thank you now for everybody that entered in virtually, everybody that entered in even in a physical sanctuary, that as we are here in your presence, Lord God, we thank you that there's some stuff that's being burned up, Lord God. There's some stuff, Lord God, that's being dissolved, Lord God. There's some stuff, Lord God, that you are lifting off of us tonight, Lord God. We thank you for being a lifter now, Lord God. We thank you for lifting burdens tonight, Lord God. We thank you for lifting weights on tonight, Lord God. We thank you for lifting heavy hearts on tonight, Lord God. Oh, we glorify you, Lord God. It's your presence that we're after. It's your face that we seek, Lord God. We bless you tonight. We glorify you tonight, Lord God. We give you glory and we magnify your name tonight, Lord God, because you are our shepherd, Lord God. You have told us, Lord, that you are returning us to the shepherd's care. And so tonight we clap our hands. Tonight we glorify you. Tonight we declare that my life is in the shepherd's care, that you are watching over us. Your eyes are upon us. Your ears are attuned to our cry. Hallelujah. We thank you that tonight you're developing a cry on the inside of us, that we are crying out for you, Lord God. We're crying out for your direction, Lord God. We're crying out for your provision, oh God. And we thank you that tonight we 
with you as our shepherd, we shall not be led astray, Lord God. Thank you right now that with you as our shepherd, we have rest, oh God. Hallelujah. Come on, declare that the rest is mine. Amen. The rest of the Lord is mine. We declare as shepherd, the victory of Almighty God is ours. We thank you for victory now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I bless you now that whatever it is that we're facing, whatever it is that we're confronted with, whatever it is that's perplexing us, Lord, whatever warfare that we are engaged in right now, we thank you, Lord, that as we seek you in prayer, that as we cry out to you, Lord God, as we point your finger at the problem, Lord God, we know that victory is ours, Lord. I thank you tonight, yes, that the devil shouldn't have never let us make our way to prayer, shouldn't have never let us come in to your presence, Lord, because now we're going to cast our cares, Lord. Now we're going to tell you all about our trouble. Now we're going to declare, my God is on this case. My God is in the midst of this situation. My God is moving in the midst of everything that's going on in our life. And we thank you for the grace tonight, Lord God, to get through everything we have to face in February, Lord God. We thank you right now that we shall conquer. We thank you right now that we shall overcome. We thank you right now that we shall get through in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I need you to find somebody. I need you to touch them right now. Tell them there's a grace to get through on your life. Hallelujah. Come on, declare that to them tonight. We're going to get through this. Amen. Whatever it is that we're facing, whatever it is that has us stressed, whatever it is that has us overwhelmed, we're casting it at the feet of our almighty God. We're leaving it at the altar. We're declaring that in the throne room, some things are going to change for us, Lord God. We got grace to get through, to get through, to get through, to get through, to get through. I speak it over your life tonight, to get through, hallelujah. Whatever you're rebuilding, you're gonna get through it. Whatever it is that knocked you down, you're getting back up, you're gonna get through it. Whatever mistake you made, it don't matter, it was a part of your lesson. God says you're gonna get through it. Whatever it is that you fumbled in the last season, God's gonna let you pick it back up again. Thank you for the grace, I don't deserve it, but thank you for the grace that allows me to get through, get through. Come on, say it, get through, get through. Come on, I need you to touch and agree with somebody right there, yes. Come on, let the Spirit of the Lord lead you now <clears throat> and declare it over their life. Come in agreement with them right now <clears throat> that whatever it is, Hallelujah, that you're dealing with. Come on, tell them you're going to get through it. Whoever it is that you've been praying for, you've been carrying them in this season, you're going to get through it. I speak it over everybody that logged in, over everybody that drove out tonight, over everybody that endured traffic right now. I declare in the name of Jesus that God says he's lifting up your heads. I declare in the name of Jesus that he's lifting up your burden. I declare it in the name of Jesus that he's putting an anointing on your life. He's putting the grace upon on your life. He's giving you strength to get through it right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are, but the Lord told me to pick your feet up and put them back down. Because every time you pick your feet up and you put them back down, you're walking on the head of the enemy. Hallelujah. You're letting that enemy know you're not going to ride my back. You're not going to harass me. I'm going to put you where you belong. Come on, somebody. You are underneath my feet. Hallelujah. Come on, pick them up and put them down. Pick them up and put them down because we have a grace to get through whatever it is that we're facing right now, Lord God. So we thank you tonight that you're our shepherd. We thank you tonight, Lord God. Yes, we're privileged to call ourselves your sheep. Amen. Come on, make that declaration. I'm your sheep, God. I'm your sheep, God. Hallelujah. Come on, say it. I'm, I'm your sheep. Lord. I'm in your pasture, Lord God. I'm under your care. I'm a part of your flock, Lord God. Hallelujah. I'm right where you want me to be, Lord God. God. So tonight, we thank you for that, Lord God. I don't mind humbling myself, Lord God, taking off all of my titles, Lord God, to making myself of no reputation, Lord God. My only strength is you, Lord God. My only boldness is in you, Lord God. And tonight, we are sheep before you, our great shepherd. We are sheep before you right now. So we ask that you would empty us, Lord that would make us think that we are more than what we are. Hallelujah, our confidence is in you. 
Our esteem is in you, glory to God. Our boldness is in you, Lord God. Our victory is in you, Lord God. Our future is because of you, Lord God. And we acknowledge right now that you reign in our lives. We acknowledge right now, Lord God, that you sit high above our lives, Lord God. We acknowledge right now, Lord God, that we are sheep, Lord God. Not only are we a sheep, but we are also seekers tonight, amen. Lay hands on your chest and say, I'm a seeker tonight. I'm a seeker, I'm a seeker, which means I don't have it all, God. I gotta seek you. I don't know it all, I gotta seek you, Lord God. I don't understand it all, I gotta seek you, Lord God. That's why I gotta humble myself, Lord God, because I don't know which way to go, Lord God. If left up to myself, I will drift, I will wander, I will go in the wrong direction, but tonight I thank you that I'm seeking you, Lord God. As Psalm 24 and 6 says, we are of the generation of Jacob. We are of those who seek you. We are of those those who inquire of you. We are of those who need you. Lord, we don't just want you. You are not just a luxury in our lives, Lord God. You are necessity. You are the air we breathe, Lord God. It's in you that we live and move and have our very being, Lord God. You are my strength and you are my life and you are my everything, Lord God. And tonight I seek after you tonight, Lord God. Tonight I press my way to wherever you are. Lord God. This month, before I go any further this month, Lord God, I want to hear your voice. I want you to order my steps. I want to see your face in my situation, Lord God. So we seek. Come on, declare that I seek, God. I seek. I seek. Come on, say it. I seek. I seek. And I empty myself of my understanding. I empty myself of my way of doing things. I empty myself of traditionalism. I empty myself, Lord, of everything that can confuse and cloud my understanding. I empty myself as a sheep, Lord God. And we seek after the shepherd, Lord God. We want to step in the steps that you have previously stepped in before us, Lord God. We seek after you, Lord God, because we know where you lead, Lord, is goodness. Where you you lead, Lord, is kindness. Where you lead, Lord, is everything we need, hallelujah, for success, Lord God. We thank you for it now. So in the month of February, Lord God, we seek after you. In the month of February, Lord, we listen for you. In the month of February, Lord God, we want to hear from you, Lord God. We seek revelation now. We seek understanding now. We seek understanding and clues. Help us to solve problems, Lord God. We seek your wisdom right now, Lord God. Lord, don't let us get confused, Lord God. Let, be, be crystal clear now. Come on, attune our ears to your voice, Lord God. I speak divine frequency now. Put our ears on a frequency where we can hear from you, Lord God. Your word declares that my sheep hear my voice and the voice of another they will not follow, Lord God. So we want to hear your voice, God. We got some important decisions to make, Lord. We want to hear your voice, God. We got to know which way to go, Lord God. We got to hear your voice, oh God. Or else we're going to be confused. Or else we're going to mess this life up, Lord God. We're going to mess this month up, Lord. We want to hear your voice, Lord, leading us, Lord. So early in the morning, we will seek you, God. Early in the morning, we will seek you, Lord God. <clears throat> because we, we, we want your voice. Come on, tell him, I want your voice, God. I want your voice, God. I want your voice. Because I understand one word from you, God, will free us. One word from you will lift us out of where we are. One word from you, Lord God. There's some in here tonight, God. They, they, they come seeking a word from you. They come seeking confirmation for you, from you. They come seeking clarity from you, Lord God. I ask that you would bless the seekers tonight. Hallelujah. I ask, Lord God, that Matthew 7 would be their reality. Everyone who seeks will find. Everyone who's going after it, they're going to hit it in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you in the name of Jesus that seekers shall find in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for that tonight, that in February we're going to find some stuff. In February we're going to understand some stuff. In February we're going to have the grace to hear what it is that God is saying. Come on, say it. I'm seeking you, God. I'm seeking you, God. I'm seeking your presence. I'm seeking your face. We are the generations. We are the generation of Jacob. 
We are the generation of Jacob. We are the generation of Jacob. The ones that don't deserve it, but you still give it to us. We are the generation of Jacob. The one that got issues, but you still love us. We're the generation of Jacob tonight, Lord God. We thank you for that grace, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for that anointing tonight, Lord God. And we declare and decree, Lord, hallelujah, as your spirit speaks to us that tonight, fresh oil is going to be on us in February. Thank you right now for fresh oil, for everything that we shall interact with and have to deal with in the month of February. We thank you <clears throat> that you are anointing our heads with oil. Come on, lay hands on your head right now. Symbolically, we lay our hands on our head today, Lord God, and we thank you that we have an oil, hallelujah, for February. Yes, God. We have an oil for everything that we shall have to deal with in the month of February, Lord God. We thank you for the oil, Lord God. Something fresh, Lord God. We don't want January's oil. We don't want December's oil. We need something that's fresh for February, Lord God. Fresh oil, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you've anointed anointed us to do and what, what you've anointed us to endure in January, but we seek your face, Lord God. You are our secret sauce, Lord God. You are the reason why we can move forward, Lord God. We thank you that this month is going to be a month of gladness right now. Hallelujah. That you're going to give us gladness in our hearts, oh God. That we're not going to have bad days in February because every day, despite what's happening, we're going to have an anointing of gladness right now. Come on, declare right now and I am glad. Amen. Come on, say it. And I am glad. Yeah. I shall rejoice and be glad. All 28 days of February, I shall rejoice and be glad. That's my response to the enemy. That's my response to bad news. That's my response to challenges. I shall rejoice and be glad because God has already anointed me for this. God has already told me I'm going to get through it. So I thank you right now, Lord God, that this month, whatever happens, I'm going to recover and I'm going to recover fast. Hallelujah. I dare you to touch somebody right now and tell them you're going to recover and you're going to recover fast. Whatever it is that's going to shock you, whatever it is that's going to come against you, I hear the Lord saying you're going to recover and you're going to recover fast. A righteous man falls seven times, but the Bible says he gets back up again. She gets back up again. I speak it, you're going to recover, and you're going to recover fast. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody ought to give him praise right there. Somebody ought to thank God right there. Yes, God, you already let me know. Hallelujah. That not only I'm going to get through what I got to go through, but I'm going to get back on my feet real fast. I may fall down, but I'm popping back up. I'm declaring that no bad days in February, because I got a word from the Lord, and the word from the Lord is that there's fresh oil for whatever it is I'm going to deal with. Somebody give him a shout and a praise right there. Somebody receive it right there. Come on, you got to know how to do warfare when you get a word from the Lord. You got to know how to hold on to that thing and weld it as a sword. Hallelujah. Come on, say it right now. I got fresh oil right now. Hallelujah. Say it, I got fresh oil right now. Come on, use your sword right now. That's the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord says, there's fresh oil for your head. He anointed my head with oil. My cup running over. Come on, you better use your sword today. And I'm cutting through everything the enemy is trying to send after me. Hallelujah. I need you to touch five people. I need five of you to put it in the comments. Fresh oil, fresh oil. Come on, tell them, fresh oil, fresh oil. Come on, come on, it's not old, it's not stale, it's not used, it's fresh for the month of February. Hey, God, yes. Come on, tell them it's fresh for the month of February. You ain't just going to live. You're going to live with some oil on the life. Hallelujah. You, you're not just going to go through this month, but you're going to have some oil on this month. Hallelujah. You're going to have the protection of Almighty God upon your life. You're going to have the grace Jesus died for on your life. I thank you, Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 
How many of you need it? I need it, God. I need it. I don't just want it. I can't make it without it, Lord God. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for fresh oil. Come on, God is pouring right now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Come on, he's pouring right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Come on, he's pouring right now. It's an oil of grace. You don't deserve it, but receive it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let it fill my life, Lord God. Just like the oil that was on Aaron's beard, Lord God. Let it run down in every area of our lives, Lord God. Give us fresh oil in our church, God. Yes, God, for everything you've assigned us to do, you've given us fresh oil, Lord God. Hallelujah, and we glory by your name. Glory to the name of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lamb of God. Amen. Now listen to me now. I want you to clap your hands right now until I say stop. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, I need everybody to do that. Clap your hands till I say stop. Clap your hands, all you people. Give me a virtual clap in the comments. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Come on, some of you, your hands are so tender. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Come on, you got to know that the clapping of the hands is a signal of warfare. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, when I count to three, I want everybody to give God a shout and a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, keep clapping your hands. Hallelujah. Keep clapping your hands. Come on, keep praising your God with your hands. Come on, keep giving him a hand praise right now. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Clap your hands. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Hallelujah. Come on, there's something breaking in the spirit. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Hallelujah. Come on, there's something that's being shaken in the spirit. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Hallelujah. And when I count to three, we're going to lift up our voice with the sound of triumph, hallelujah. Come on, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, you gotta know how to do spiritual warfare. I'm almost there, glory to God. Come on, come on, about 15 more seconds, I'm almost there. Clap your hands, all ye people. We clap our hands, Lord God. We give you a hand praise in the house of the Lord tonight. We give you the hand praise that you deserve tonight. And on the count of three, we open up our voice and we lift it up to you, Lord God, as a shout of triumph, Lord God. On the count of three, one, two, three, shout, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name, oh God. Shila mama dasaka. Ila mama mama Come on, it's a shout of triumph, oh God. Yes, it's a shout of triumph, oh God. Come on, teach us to war with our praise. Teach us to war with our worship, oh God. Teach us to war and get past our feelings, oh God. We give you what you deserve. We give you right now, Lord God, that which attracts you on the scene, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach us how to war, God. Teach us how to war, God. Some of us have lost our stamina and our endurance in spiritual warfare. Teach us how to war, Lord God. Teach us how to stand through certain seasons where you're telling us and challenging us to stand, Lord God. Teach us how to war in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Teach us how to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Give us stamina now. Give us endurance right now, oh Father. Give us right now a resoluteness in us, Lord God, that we shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Come on, tell that devil right now, I shall not, I shall not, I shall not, I shall not, I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. I shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. I'm going to bend and I'm going to uh, toss to one side and the other, but I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. 
We thank you tonight, Lord God, for increasing our spiritual stamina, Lord God, for stirring in us, Lord God. We thank you right now for giving us strength, Lord God, for fortifying us right now. We thank you for building us up in the spirit now, Lord God, that whatever we got to face in February, we thank you right now, Lord God, that at the outset of the month, we declare that victory is ours now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Teach us how to war. Teach us how to war. Teach us how to war. Teach us how to have discernment, God. Teach us how to use our worship, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. We magnify you. Teach us how to use our worship, God. It's not just a song. It's our warfare. Hallelujah, God. This is how we fight our battles. This is how we fight our battles, God. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. We seek you first, Lord God. We worship you first, Lord God. We apply your name and your blood first, Lord God. Teach us how to war, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Teach us how to war with our prayers, oh God. Teach us how to tarry in the spirit, Lord, until breakthrough happens, Lord God. Teach us in the name of Jesus how to be consistent and steadfast and unmovable and always abounding towards the things of God. Teach us how to war in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And when you teach us how to war, we'll see victory, God. When you teach us how to use our spiritual weapons, Lord, we will see victory now. We ask, Lord God, that as we as we are as we are as we are endeavoring to be soldiers in your army, as we are endeavoring to learn warfare, expose our distractions right now, God. Show us now, Lord God, hallelujah, how we are distracted now as sheep, Lord God. Put us back on track, Lord God. It's dangerous, God, to be distracted in warfare. It's dangerous to be distracted on the battlefield. So we say like the Old Testament, awake, O Zion, hallelujah, and come back to God. We declare today that we're coming back to you, Lord God. We declare today, Lord God, that you're going to expose and show our our drifting, Lord God. We don't want to drift in this season, God. Give us an anchor right now in the name of Jesus now. Anchor us now to your word. Anchor us right now, hallelujah, to your revelation. Anchor us in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Come on, thank God you got an anchor right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for an anchor. Thank you for an anchor. Thank you for an anchor. Thank you for an anchor, Lord. Thank you for an anchor right now. Yes. So I don't just let the waves toss me. Thank you for an anchor. <laughs> so I don't just drift off and don't even know I'm drifting. Thank you for an anchor, Lord God. Hallelujah. I declare our ministry shall be anchored in your word. Hallelujah. Our ministry shall be anchored in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I thank you that this local church, God, is anchored, Lord God, in the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are anchored in your grace, Lord God. We thank you that your grace has a strong grip on us, Lord God. We thank you right now that even in the spirit, Lord God, that we come against drifting by putting out our anchor, Lord God. Thank you for anchoring our hope now, Lord God, that we're not going to lose hope on what it is that you promised us, Lord God. You're giving us an anchor in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We even thank you tonight for showing us the error of our ways, Lord God. Uh, creating us a heart that's teachable, Lord God. We want to be teachable sons. And we want to be teachable daughters, Lord. We want to be able to be corrected, Lord God. So we come against a spirit of high-mindedness, Lord God. We come against a know-it-all spirit, Lord God. And we humble ourselves as sheep, Lord God. So we thank you with your loving kindness Lord God, that you're going to be able to correct the error of our ways. You're going to be able to cause us to repent and turn around, Lord God. Help us in this season to war, oh God. 
Hallelujah. And as you're helping us to war, we ask, oh God, that you would even help our disciplines right now. Because what we're blaming on the devil is not the devil, it's our bad discipline. We ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would now help our discipline, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to remain faithful to the things that you've assigned us to, the things that you have called us to. And we're no longer going to give the devil credit for things that we did, Lord God, for mistakes that we made, Lord God, for disciplines that we forsook, Lord God. We ask right now that you would create in us a consistency in reading our word, a consistency in prayer, a discipline in worship, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that as we are disciples, that you're going to teach us discipline. You're going to give us diligence right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for dil diligence. Come on, clap your hands for diligence. Come on, God is teaching you to war. You can't be a soldier if you're not disciplined. You can't be a successful soldier if you're not diligent and you're not a disciplined. Hallelujah. So we thank you right now, Lord God, even for our church. Come on, let's pray for our church now. We thank you, Lord. We undergird this ministry right now. Come on, open up your mouth and pray for this ministry right now. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That we were founded upon your word, God. We were founded upon your revelation, God. We were founded upon obedience now, Lord God. So we thank you right now that the gates of hell shall not prevail against this ministry, Lord God. But we shall go forth as a beacon of light, Lord God. We shall go forth, Lord, and accomplish what you sent us in the earth to accomplish, Lord God. We thank you for the beacon light community, Lord God. We thank you for everybody that's a part of our family, Lord God. We declare today, Lord God, that you're building us up. We declare today that you're strengthening us in the spirit, Lord God. We declare today that you are unifying us, Lord God, that one of us can't fall without the other one falling. One of us can't rejoice without all of us rejoicing. One of us can't sorrow without all of us running to the aid, Lord God. We thank you for unity in the name of Jesus. Can you help me right there? We know the devil loves division. We know he comes to divide asunder. Oh, but we declare that the blood of Jesus is against the enemy and no weapon that he forms against his church will be able to prosper, Lord God. Thank you for a strong church. Thank you for an anointed church. Thank you for a loving church right now, Lord God. Loose your love in our church today. Not a love that's with words, but a love that's with deeds today, Lord God. May we show up for one another. May we genuinely care for one another, Lord. May we genuinely, Lord, embrace and encourage and uplift one another, Lord God. May we begin now to be a church that love so much, Lord God, that we help reconciliation, Lord God. We don't lend ourselves to division. We don't gossip. We don't backbite. We don't uh, be a tail bearer, Lord God. But we come and we speak now your word in love, your truth in love, Lord God. We thank you that we are a church of worship, Lord God. Everybody said we're a church of worship, Lord. We're a church that gathers to worship your name, that gathers to hear your word, Lord God. We glorify you right now. We give you glory now that we are a church of discipleship. We thank you right now that you're producing disciples. God, we don't want to just be big. We want to be mature. We want to be healthy. We want to be growing. We want to be used of you, Lord God. So thank you right now for helping our discipleship, our maturing system, Lord God. Thank you right now, Lord God, that we won't just eat the, the milk of the word, Lord God, but we'll seek after the meat of the word, Lord God. That we won't just come for cheap emotional thrills, Lord God, but we'll hunger and thirst, Lord God. Even when feelings forsake us, Lord God, we will remain a church of discipleship through relationship with one another. Another, through study of your word, through connecting with one another in the spirit, Lord God. We thank you that we are a church of worship. We are a church of discipleship. But Lord, please allow us to be a church of service, Lord God. We don't want to just gather in these walls to worship. We want our worship to impact everything around us, Lord God. Every street and every neighborhood and everything that's connected to this ministry is going to be blessed because we are here, Lord God. Because we 
we are out serving, Lord God. So this year, we thank you right now for letting us do more than we have ever done before for you, Lord God. For giving us a grace now and opening up doors and allowing us to uh, uh, speak your name and shine your light in spaces and places, Lord God. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you that it's done right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I ask now that you will put now a hedge around every person that's a part of our church, Lord God. Put a hedge around every house. Put a hedge around every relationship. Put a hedge around them now, Lord God, that nothing that they are going through, no season or no phase or no process that they're in, Lord God, is going to cause them to be lost. Rebuke the hand of the enemy now, Lord God. We thank you right now for rebuking the hand of the enemy and what it is that he is trying to do in our ministry, in our families, in our relationships, Lord God, in our minds, Lord God. We glorify you and we thank you right now, Lord God, that we speak an end to it, Lord God. We declare that it is bound up in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and our church is prosperous. Our church, Lord God, yes, is edifying. Our church is fruitful in the name of Jesus, oh God. We give your name glory, we give your name praise, and we give your name honor. Clap your hands for what God is going to do through our church. Finally, God, we pray we pray for our city, we pray for our world. We pray for our nation right now, Lord God. We thank you right now, yes, that we shall not be distracted. We shall know that we have an enemy that's at play. We pray right now, yes, hallelujah. Not just for the Nichols family who had to bury their son today, Lord God, but we pray now for every family that heart has been broken because somebody abused their power, somebody abused their authority, God. Father, we cry out to you, God. We cry out to you to give us wisdom, to understand policy, Lord God, to help us to overcome, Lord God, this stain that's upon our nation's fabric, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, over the city of Hammond, Lord God. We pray now over every city in which we have people that are situated. Put your city in the comments right now. Some of you open up. If you don't stay in Hammond, speak your city into the atmosphere right now, Lord God. We come against a spirit of violence, Lord, in every city city that's being lifted up even now, Lord God. We come against violence in all of its form, Lord God. We come against schoolhouse violence. We come against domestic violence. We come against police brutality, Lord. We come against crime and violence that's in the street, Lord God. Give us a heart of love now, a heart of patience now, Lord God. We come against it in the name of Jesus, Lord. So we ask that you would cover every one of our children now. Cover every son and every daughter Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that what's going on in the culture shall not come nigh unto our home, Lord God, because we have made the most high God our resting place, our refuge, our shepherd, Lord God. Come on, speak it over your house now, Lord God, that what's happening out there shall not come in here. What's prevalent out there shall not come in here, Lord God. We rebuke drug addictions now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We rebuke reprobate minds right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke right now confusion of who we are, of identities, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. And we apply your blood and we apply your word, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, that we are victorious in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for your cities right now. Come on, we done. Come on, clap your hands for your city. Come on, clap your hands like you know God is able. We thank God for police. We thank God for first responders. But if God doesn't watch over the city, come on, if God doesn't keep watch over the, over the, over the state, if God doesn't guard the house, hallelujah, they that labor labors in vain. We thank you for it now. We glorify you now. Father, we seal now everything that has taken place. Yes, God. Personal petitions now. Personal petitions. You have a personal petition. I have to hurry. I want you to come and I want you to just spend a few moments at the altar. You have a personal petition. You have something specific that you want God to do for you, for your house, for your situation. I want you to come now and I want you to make contact with the altar. Those of you that's in our virtual campus, you have a personal petition. I want you to lift up prayer hands in the comments now. That's going to be your point of contact. That's going to be you releasing your faith right now. You have somebody that you want to place on the altar. 
You have something that you want to place on the altar. You have a situation that you want to place on the altar. God, we're going to give it to you. We're going to do whatever the situation requires. We're going to do whatever it is that we have to do. But we know confidently that our trust is in you. We know, Lord God, resolutely that if you don't move, that it cannot be done, Lord God. So we thank you right now for ordering our steps. We thank you right now for turning our hearts. We thank you even now, Lord God, for giving us hearts of forgiveness now. We thank you right now, Lord God, for giving breakthrough where breakthrough is needed, Lord. We thank you for manifesting miracles, Lord, in situations that require a miracle, Lord. We thank you that whatever we need, Lord God, you can and you will perform. You can and you will show up, Lord God. So we carry all of our burdens to the altar. And you know what, God? We're going to leave them right there, Lord God. We're going we're gonna to take them off of our shoulders and we're going to put it on your desk, Lord God. We, gl we bless you right now. We thank you right now that it's done, Lord. We thank you right now that answers are being given. We thank you right now, Lord, that hearts are being turned around. We thank you right now that at this altar there's deliverance that's being had, Lord God. We thank you right now that salvation is happening for loved ones right now. We thank you right now that healings are taking place and manifesting, Lord God. We thank you that praise reports are imminent right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Testimonies, Lord God, are being formed even right now, Lord God. We thank you for building faith at this altar right now. We thank you, Lord, for fortifying trust, Lord God. I declare that we shall not waver. I declare right now that we shall not turn back. We are not of those who turn back, Lord God, but we stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We love you, God. We bless you, and we honor you tonight, and we consider it done in Jesus' name. Come on, get up off of that altar and clap your hands like you got a God that heard you. Come on, like you have a God that heard you. Come on, I want you to make contact with somebody and tell them, he heard you, he heard you, he heard you. Tell them, you in the shepherd's care, you in the shepherd's care. And whatever it is and whenever it is that we cry out, hallelujah, God hears our cry and he answers our prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's bless God tonight for an amazing time in prayer. Yes, God, hallelujah. <laughs> How many of you heard the Lord tonight? Amen. Come on, if you heard the Lord in our virtual campus, listen, right before we leave and right before you log off, let me challenge you as I always do tonight. I want you to prepare to give tonight. Let's sow uh, something tonight uh, as we sow into this uh, first day of February. Would you do me February? I believe it's this year. February has 28 days. Am I right about that? Amen. 28 days. Amen. Can you get a seed of $28? Can I challenge everybody? At least $28. Those of you that need to tithe and uh, return your tithe unto the Lord, is certainly we're going to ask you to do that. I just feel led of the Lord tonight, all of us. Amen. Whether you have to do it on Cash App, whether you have to do it tonight on uh, Text to Give, uh, I, want you, I want you to do it. I'm pulling mine up now. I want all of us tonight, before we would uh, seal what it is that uh, transpired in this place, I want you to give a seed of no less than $28 for uh, the month of February. The information is right there on the screen if you're live or if you are uh, in the uh, in the uh, virtual campus, you can do that. Listen, in the memo section, whether you're texting to give or whether you're doing on Cash App, I just want you to put fresh oil. Amen. Fresh oil. Amen. That's that's what we're connecting with tonight. Amen. Fresh, fresh oil in February. We're releasing our faith there. If you say, Bishop, I don't have $28, I want you to get as close to 28 as you can. Two and eight is 10. Amen. So a seed of $10. You know with a reason of a good conscience, God, this is all I have. I want everybody that can, that will do this tonight before we would uh, before we would exit on tonight. When you're ready, I want you to stand. We're going to declare a blessing over what it is that we're sowing in the kingdom of God tonight. Amen. And we will uh, be dismissed right on time. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you on, uh, of course, this Sunday as we start uh, our worship for the month at 10 a.m. I want you to be on time. I want you to bring your children. I'm so proud of how our student ministries are growing. Can we clap our hands for that? Amen. It's just a tremendous blessing. I believe putting foundation in our children are so very, very important. There's going to be a time when they go off and leave. Amen. And we cannot instill in them what we should have instilled in them 5, 10, 15 years prior to them leaving our care. So I want us, amen, as parents to be good stewards 
over our children's lives by making sure that they are connected uh, and they are trained in the things of God. We're also excited about second Sunday, February the 12th. It's our Destiny Sunday or Vision Sunday. God has given me a word to speak over whatever vision you have for this year. I'm going to speak a word this year that I believe uh, is going to resonate with you. It's going to be revelation, amen, for how it is that you're going to work what God has given you for 2023. And then it's going to be the Sunday that we come on that seventh Sunday. Seven is the number of completion. Seven is the number of maturity. Seven is the number when things come to an end. And this first uh, uh, cycle of seven for 2023, we bring our first fruits. Why? Because the Bible says, gather all of the first fruits year by year and bring them into the house of the Lord that the priest may command a blessing to rest upon your house. Amen. And so I want to encourage you on the second Sunday, February 12th, uh, that you come with a seat of $223. Some of you listen just like me. Not only do you sow 223 from your personal, but also from your business as well. Just believe in God that I'm putting you first, God, by giving you the first fruit, the first sacrifice. And God says, when you do so, your barn shall be filled with plenty. Glory to God. And your vats shall overflow with brand new wine. So we're excited about that. Every year we do this, it's a joy in our church to be able to give our first fruit. Uh, and I want you to prepare uh, to tap into that, amen, as well. Come on, you're ready to consecrate your gifts tonight. I have 60 seconds and I gotta let you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we would wave our phones now, as we would wave our hands now uh, or before you, we consecrate our giving. This is a, a, a gift, an offering of faith today of everything that you spoke in our time of prayer. We connect with it through our seed sowing. I thank you that no one now is going to suffer for what they're giving, but it's through our giving that we're going to see the revelation of your word. That as we give, you give back to us. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. We love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say it, I'll always have. Come on, speak it over your February. I'll always have because I always give. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you give God your final hand clap tonight? Amen. We thank God uh, for that. If you have an envelope and you want to bring it, you have the liberty to do so tonight. Father, we close and we seal now our time together in prayer. What a beautiful time it was to seek your face. I thank you for everybody that connected with us tonight. And I seal now everything you spoke by way of revelation, by way of uh, logos or rhema. I thank you and we seal it in our hearts and we anticipate manifestation. Thank you for teaching us toward this month. We love you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor and tell them you got fresh oil. You got fresh oil. Amen. Find somebody else and tell them no bad days this month. Amen. Come on, speak that over their life. Tell them no bad days this month. Amen. Glory be to God. Love y'all so much. God bless you. Good night.